Howdy YouTube, so I originally lost the footage to the, or actually corrupted the footage to the first uh, version of this video, so welcome to the Q&A video, or the A portion of the Q&A video. The questions were mainly left in the comments on my uh, Python uh, file explorer video, so um, most of these questions are off the top of my head, so take everything with a grain of salt, I'm probably going to get some facts wrong. So, um, first question is, Light Armanov asks, uh, or states, make a GitHub. Is the general consensus still GitHub? Well, um, I'm not too familiar with Git sites, so I know um, GitHub got bought out by Microsoft, and there's a conflict of interest between Microsoft and the free software community. So, uh, someone suggested GitLab, and I went with GitLab. So, Aduck asks, in order of relevance, what do you think of the various BSDs? Um, what do you think about Wrist 5, Power 9, and favorite anime? And also a question about my hair. So, I guess to get started, um, what I like, um, well, I've used uh, NetBSD and FreeBSD. Uh, I can see the appeal of OpenBSD since it's very security focused, but I just haven't really used it at all, I guess. I mean, I might try it out in the future, it seems kind of cool. But, uh, well, NetBSD is cool because it's uh, pretty much, the, I think it's actually the most portable operating system. Or at least it's the most portable BSD. It runs on, like, It'll run on a Sega Dreamcast, it'll run probably on a toaster of some sort, so it uses about 4 to 8 megabytes of RAM or something like that, it was very small. Um, I actually was running it on my IBM 380 XD, and it doesn't have a lot of binary packages, but it has package source, which is like this source tree, also package source to run on multiple platforms, and through that you can pretty much make well, you, you'll be able to get what you need from their packages through package source, but you have to compile it yourself, which, well, if you're using it to run on a Pentium 2 equipped system from the 90s running at a full, uh, I think, 233 megahertz, it's going to take a while and use a lot of the swap space. And that actually killed the SSD I had in there, so, okay. Um, Oh yeah, I guess FreeBSD. Um, well, I used it for MMXChan because it had the most packages. And, uh, well, it ran on a Pentium, whereas Debian Stretch doesn't run on, well, anything before Pentium 2. So it ran on the Pentium MMX, and overall I think I would have been happier with Debian Jesse, just because I'm more familiar with Debian systems, and um, if you uh, ever meet a BSD or free BSD developer, you really should give them a hug, or send them a hug digitally. Anyways, um, what do you uh, think about RIST 5? I don't know a lot about RIST 5, and uh, what do you think about Power 9? Well, I um, wish I had the money for Power 9. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, Power 8 systems on eBay are really expensive, too, and Power 9 is just, uh... I, mean, I think you could buy Power 6 systems for, like, $600 or something used. Um... I wish I had the money for a Talos workstation, or at least a Talos light. Uh, okay, next question. Favorite anime? Um... I like... Serial Experiments Lane. That was a good anime. I don't watch a whole lot of anime. I think I watched Oso Matsu-san. That was also a good anime. Um, uh, what made you grow my your hair out? Uh, I like how my hair looks. Um, okay, so on to Burnsy3210. Uh, when will you come to GNU Plus London? Will you have afternoon tea with me and remove the Windows sticker from my ThinkPad? Well, I've never been to London. I've been to Europe, or Switzerland one time. 
and it's the only time I spent a sizable amount of time in Europe, and I was a little kid, so I don't really remember too much about it. So, I will probably not come to London anytime soon. If I had the money and, you know, opportunity, sure, but, uh, well, the window sticker thing, it's uh, kind of a reference to something Stallman did when he was uh, signing someone's laptop. He uh, ended up scratching off the Windows license key. Well, I guess that sums it up. Um, Sariram Kumar, okay. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Oh no, okay. Didn't run out of power. It's a IBM T42 with the original battery in it. So uh, it's at 17%. Hopefully it lasts for the rest of this video. Okay, um, the question is, ever moving to IRC? Well, I don't really know a whole lot of people that use IRC chat, but it seems interesting and I'll probably do it at some point. And yeah, um, it'd probably be a little bit better way to uh, communicate with me is if it uh, doesn't have to go through Google and you could just use YouTube DL and still have like comments and discussions and stuff. So I might do it in the future and I agree with uh, Hiram Kumar on that. So uh, yeah, um, thoughts on DTube? Uh, well, so I uploaded one video to DTube. No one really watched it. Uh, DTube is, uh, uses some cryptocurrency thing to uh, monetize videos. So I think the cryptocurrency is like generated based off content creation somehow. So yeah, uh, I don't know, I might try it again sometime. I don't really, haven't really made any plans on it, but uh, I guess that's it. Um, when are you planning on getting a haircut? Uh, probably 20... 19, 2020, uh, sometime around then. Uh, maybe around when the Unix 2036 bug is. I think it's 2036. I should probably check that. Um, 2038, okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, do you prefer any other inits than System D? Uh, System D is the only one I'm familiar with. So, um, I don't really have any preferences there. Ever uh, consider using Emacs as your primary editor? Yeah, um, I've been using Nano for a while and I'm thinking about switching to Vim though because I realized I've been using Ranger and i3 for a while and they use VI key bindings and it really didn't take that long to get used to the insert mode thing. And then on top of that, I actually did install Emacs and tried it out, and it's, uh, it's a little bit big. And uh, you uh, need the Alt key, and I couldn't, I was thinking about switching it to Super for i3, but I just decided to go with Vim. I don't really like learning new key bindings, so yeah. Um, Okay, uh, Mark J asked, what is your peak ThinkPad? Okay, so, uh, my favorite ThinkPad, which, uh, okay, you need a 15 inch T60 and you can get a 2160, I mean 2048 by 2036 panel, it's 432. And then the T60 has an advanced stock. So the advanced stock has PCI Express so I could put like a compute card or something in the advanced stock or like some sort of like high-end NVIDIA graphics card and use it for like rendering. So then all you have to do from there is, you know, put in the 2048 by 1536 display. You got to Weber boot it. You got to put a T7600G, which is the fastest CPU you can put in there. And it's an unlock multiplier. So uh, try to overclock it somehow. And then, um, you know, this is going for peak ThinkPad. We might get into the realm of uh, outside of the realm of practicality. So uh, get like one of those AOL, uh, not an all-in-one water cooler, uh, but the uh, copper tubes that go into the heat pipe for the laptop, you can actually run water through those for a really ghetto water cooling sort of setup. So do that. 
and then have your overclocked T7600G and your T60 running at, uh, well, yeah, with Weeb Reboot and the super high resolution panel. So yeah, that's what I think my peak ThinkPad would be. Or maybe just replace the entire guts with some sort of uh, arm system or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, though, um, Wolfgang's channel asks, mind sharing the uh, pape? Well, I did share the wallpaper. I'll probably put a link in the description in this video, too. Um, Evil Death Nightmare asks, are you half Asian, dude? Also, what happened to MMX Chan? Bruh. Sorry. Um, so, I am half Korean, and MMX Chan is here and uh, here. So, uh, I am. Um, I need to make a website of some sort again, mainly because I want to host some files or maybe some ROM images and, you know, like uh, X220 stock BIOS, maybe that, or VGA uh, BIOS I extracted, or maybe even like, uh, hmm, what else should I store? Uh, I could put like some of the code I've made up there. I mean, I don't know. I, I want to host some files. I think it'd be something that'd be useful. Maybe put like some sort of forum site, but, I was running an image board on this uh, gateway over here, and, well, my uh, mom's had, like, uh, had some problem with her Wi-Fi for a bit, and uh, instructing your mother how to fill out the uh, WA, WPA sub, oh, well, pretty much having her fill out the Wi-Fi stuff for free BSD over the phone was a huge pain in the ass. So, uh, yeah, I uh, decided I wanted to uh, at least do something else with it. I might still host it on the MMX machine, but uh, I'd probably, I might actually do Linode web hosting. So I got like some coupon there and, and then they gave me a t-shirt too. Light Armanov asked, uh, I don't believe you haven't tried herd. How long have you tried since you've tried herd? I have never tried herd. Uh, herd is, uh, I think it uses a micro kernel. It's um, kind of one of Stallman's projects. Uh, GNU herd alternative to the Linux kernel you can use if you wanted to. Uh, be completely GNU, I guess. But I don't think it's a actual functional system now. It might be, I haven't. We're going on Wikipedia right now to see about GNU herd. Okay, camera's starting to overheat because the Sony Next 5R doesn't like making videos longer than 20 or 20 minutes or something like that. So, or at least continuous footage of 20 minutes. So I guess let's try to wrap this up. So uh, yeah, GNU Herd made in the 90s uh, by the GNU project. Uh, yeah, um, microkernel, okay. So um, next to uh, Dorian I, how many ThinkPads do I have in total? A uh, few dozen, not quite sure actually. What is your favorite ThinkPad ever? Uh, probably just the X series. Uh, it's either an X200 or an X60. Uh, X220 is okay too. I like the X series, it's easier to work on. It's uh, generally a little bit simpler too. Um, I'm so portable. I like the kind of smaller ThinkPads. So, most use the uh, programs and why? Uh, I use I Chromium the most, not to lie. I mean, I use it as my web browser and you do a lot of things through a web browser now. So, uh, Python, whenever I have to program something, I typically default to Python. Uh, I use Nano a lot, it's a text editor. Goes with that. Um, LibreOffice occasionally. I don't know, I mean, 
that's about it. Uh, oh, okay. So I guess that before it gets too rambly, um, nobody asks, uh, does Python have switch cases? Uh, also, that nesting. Yeah, there's a lot of for loops in my program that were just kind of together. But last question is what major? I am majoring in Management Information Systems, or MIS. And MIS is like um, pretty much IT plus business stuff. I'm probably spending an extra six months to a year. So I would have graduated this year to pick up a comp sci minor because I don't really want to learn any more business stuff and do MIS for graduate school. So, yeah, you don't really do like MIS grad. It'd be like an MB or it'd be an MS or something. It's kind of weird. Uh, MIS here at TAMU is a lot of like Windows uh, kind of stuff or some, I it's really just IT stuff, business knowledge and Microsoft tools and really simple programming like uh, C-sharp and Java stuff, which is really kind of outsourceable, and I don't really want to, I don't want to do that. I So I'm going to do a comp sci major, or not major, comp sci minor and transfer into comp sci for graduate school. And hopefully, hopefully that's how it goes. Um, server, server in asks, uh, what boards do you visit? And I just visit G Technology. Thoughts on RMS? Uh, so, RMS is, uh, you actually see him like in an interview, he's, uh, he makes a lot of sense. And I uh, respect him for his work in the, uh, actually creating the free software movement. Um, I think the GNU slash Linux thing is kind of a meme, but, uh, yeah, uh, he's kind of a funny person too. There's the uh, video of him dancing with the GNU. Maybe put that up over there. Anyways, though, uh, oh, what else? Okay, so uh, yeah, um, well, he ate something out of his foot one time, which is kind of weird. Uh, ever use Nix OS and functional programming? Um, does Wisp count? I have a Wisp. I, I can't program in Wisp, but um, I guess Wisp is functional. Uh, Nix OS. Uh, I don't know anything about Nix OS. Are you in any IRC rooms? Not at the moment, but I'm probably going to change that. Uh, Alex asks, how did you into ThinkPads? Well, I bought an X220i at a thrift shop for $40, and I went to TPG. And beforehand, I used to go by recycling centers a lot, and I guess I had some T40s or something from there. So eventually, I just kind of started collecting ThinkPads, or at least uh, grabbing them whenever I was at like recycling centers or like Goodwill Computer Center or whatever. And I acquired a lot of ThinkPads and started getting more into free software stuff, and they work pretty well together. Generally really good support for older ThinkPads. Probably even newer ThinkPads too, but uh, I think the newest one I've ever owned is a X220. No, no, I had an E430 I got one time. It was a gift when I was in high school. Um, yeah, I guess that sums it up. I already uh, collected used electronic stuff and I just started collecting ThinkPads. Okay, so uh, where do you go for details about different models and stuff? Um, ThinkPad forums is good. Uh, ThinkWiki is really good if you just need to search something specifically. I have this spreadsheet that's linked in my uh, How to Get Cheap ThinkPad videos, which uh, have the type numbers at the bottom and kind of just shows you the specs for each type number. Oh my god, that isn't in focus, but. Yeah, you can use that to look up the exact specs for this, and since the camera is probably going to overheat or something soon, I am uh, I am done with my Q&A video, and that was the last question. Sorry if it was cut a little bit short, Alex. Um, have a good one. Peace.